Welcome to Morning Prayer, I'm Phil Manson. If we listen carefully, we will hear the cause and effect movement in Paul's introduction to the Philippian believers in chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. He says, Do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God, without fault, in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. Do. So that. Then. Do everything, that is, humble yourselves, be obedient, stand firm as one, drive together as one, share the gospel, endure suffering without grumbling or arguing, so that Nobody can accuse you of wrongdoing, you're blameless, or of having multiple motives or gods, you're pure. Then you will shine among them like stars. The goal for Paul was that by modeling the humble and obedient mindset of Jesus Christ, the behavior and attitude of the Philippian believers would shine like a welcoming light in a world of warped and crooked darkness, attracting their neighbors to the good news of Jesus Christ. If they failed to shine in Paul's mind, that would be disaster. Webster's Dictionary defines a disaster as a sudden calamitous event that brings great damage, loss, or destruction. But its original meaning in English was an unfavorable aspect of a star. It was the combination of a Latin, the Latin prefix dis, which means lack of or separated from, and after, star, a natural luminous body in the sky that's visible at night. So, a disaster is a star that lacks light, where its luminous character is separated from it. If the Philippian church was to stop shining among the pagan darkness, that, for Paul, would be disaster, a disaster of eternal proportions. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Don't hide it. In fact, we hide the light by attitudes of dissension and by behaviors unbecoming of Christ. Shine among them that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, you are the light of the world, and so if we are to shine, may our light be a reflection of the brilliance and the brightness of your love and your holiness. We recognize that our occasional tendency to grumble and argue has a way of snuffing out your righteousness, your goodness the beauty of your ways. Lord, forgive your people. May the church, may the churches around Pickerington, called by whatever name we identify ourselves as, may we so shine among the darkness that one can't help but say, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.